air signs listening we've had bangers so far this is not me saying that you're not gonna be a banger all right i'm just letting you know what the track record has been we've had some bangers fire signs have had a great reading earth signs had a great reading i'm praying you get the same thing gemini libra and aquarius we are here to talk about the infamous the notorious the legendary mercury retrograde it has made it stop here ladies and gentlemen we are here to talk about how it's going to be affecting you check your charts because you could have sun or mercury in an air sign and some messages in here will definitely resonate i can guarantee it <laughs> i can guarantee it um my promo cell is still active on monthly readings if you want your own personal august uh monthly reading you have until i've uploaded all monthly readings to book for 4040 and they'll go back to regular pricing on my contact and book information is in the description box down below as well as the pin comment in the comment section. That's enough with the advertisements. So Mercury will be a retrograde, will be retrograde in the signs of Virgo and Leo from August 5th until August 27th. This will involve us having issues and or mishaps and delays with work situations, relationships, scheduling, time management, our day-to-day -day routines, and technology. It will also have us experiencing revelations about stagnancy in our life, where we're experiencing stagnancy in our life, and why it is happening. So, I think I'm going to make a video on my socials talking more about, like, the astrology side of it, because this has me, like, it has me very much interested. Just how I've just been seeing, like, shit work out in my own personal life and people around me is so crazy. So, make sure you stay tuned on my socials if you want a more in-depth look at this retrograde. More about the astrology shit. Let's talk about the cards over here. So, I pulled one card to see what your overall energy is going to be. And we have the resting period. This card for me represents you having like some downtime. You being in some sort of like transition period to where things have slowed down for you. And being asked, what are you doing during that time? What are you doing to kind of like, um, I'm here and wait for the paint to dry. All right. And you got like a, you know what I just heard? A buzzard. Oh God. Are y'all from the South? That's what we call them. Is that the... Uh, it's some it's some birds that eat dead shit. Is there another word for it? We call them buzzards. That's what comes to mind whenever this this is here. You're not tripping. They're messing with your energy. It's like someone here wants to annoy you while um you know you're relaxing. It's like someone here don't want you to have no peace. They don't want you to have time to yourself. And you could feel that way. Like someone here doesn't want you to have your own voice, your own free time, your own um, way of doing things or handling things. I don't know. This person might want to control you. Is this an Aries? I don't know why I automatically went to that. Or Capricorn. You know, girl, they got that, that BDSM thing about them. Both signs. Anyway. It's giving that. It's like someone here wants to be able to control what you say, what you do, how you move, how you act. It might not be allowed. It, it might. This person might not do it loudly. Like they might not say that verbatim. I want to control you. I want to be able to, you know, control your every move. But their actions might show otherwise. And I think you'll be right. <laughs> I think you'll be right to assume that. Even the cards agree. Spirit guys, what's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde, August 5th until August 27th in 2024? Ten of Wands, hold up. With the Seven of Cups. So here you are, Two of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I'm at a... I'm at that fork in the road over whether or not I should walk away from something. But with the Eight of Swords, there's all this indecision, indecision, anxiety, overthinking, worry, and concern about ending something. But with the Ten of Wands, it looks like something you need to get out your life, though, air signs. Unfortunately, we have the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this is a job to where things are so vague. Pay is vague, your responsibilities are vague, management is vague, the principles or the structure of the company or the job or the management is vague. It's too much. <laughs> Ten of Wands. And it makes things harder on you. Like, who's in charge here is what I feel like you could be asking during this time. And you could be like, girl, I don't know. I think it's time for me to get, get out of this job. 
I agree. Some of y'all, this is a relationship. Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Again, it's getting vague. Like, does this person really like me? Does this person want to, you know, do things with me? Is there commitment coming out of this relationship? Do you fuck with me? Once you ask that question, you know, girl, what are we? Leave the building, all right? You don't want to be a squirt out. You don't want to get embarrassed. Once you find yourself asking, like, <laughs> what are we really doing here? Ten of Cups. Oh! With someone that you could, you know, have children with, you built a relationship with, and I still find myself in that, where are we? What are we? Oh, no. You see, I don't have the sanity for that. Nah, girl. Well, yeah, girl, I'm, I'm out of there. I'm not, I don't even like see you, you know, girl. I don't fuck with that. I don't like being uncertain about whether somebody like me. If I'm uncertain, I think that means you don't like me. I'm going to know if you like me, right? Anyway. Um, 10 minus 7 equals 3 of cups. So this could be, uh, you could feel this way about certain, um, relationships. Like, you know, is this just not my cup of tea anymore? Are these not my, I don't want to say these not my people anymore. Am I? Nah, 10 of wands. It just looks like things that have become too much of a, concern, hassle, worry, responsibility in your life, air signs. Now, you do get the, I want to say the stereotype of being someone who, you know, is floaty. They like to have freedom. I don't think you mind responsibilities, but you need to know what the fuck you're doing. What am I here for? You don't like to just be doing shit or just being told what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have anybody in your life or you are in any situation that makes you feel like that you, you can't have it it's almost like you don't like to be in spaces to where there's mayhem there's confusion there's chaos there's arguments nah that's too much for me that's too much for me says air signs for the guys um, some air signs are the drama because the ten of wands is showing up. I'm not gonna get into that though. Hopefully that's not true, but I do just see that for some air signs. What's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde, August 5th until August 27th in 2024? King of Cups with the judgment. Unfortunately, some of y'all, uh, uh, there's a person in your life that adds, that don't make it no better. Like they, eh. but this just isn't a relationship. For some people, it's a romantic relationship. Well, it is a relationship. It's somebody that is in your life that you have to deal with. Well, shit, do you? Do you? I don't know. You might be asking yourself that question right now. Um, a magician is here. It's like, you know what? What am I going to do about this person? Some of you guys, if this has already happened, you made the right decision in getting rid of somebody who, you know, they came with too much stress, too much drama. You got too much shit going on in your life. And with the magician, air signs, you're the type of person where it's like, if we got shit going on, we need to do something about it. Not just had the shit going on. And some of y'all either need to get rid of somebody like that or you have gotten rid of somebody like that. Definitely a water sign, definitely a fire sign. Sag, Scorpio. That's the strongest signs that I see here. Sag, Scorpio. Maybe, Virgo. Maybe, maybe. What's happening to all air signs during this August? <laughs> during. <laughs> What's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde? August 5th until August 27th in 2024. I don't see you out. Damn. Whoa, no, that's great. I was about to say I don't see you out here yet. And then, ooh. The pretty, the pretty, hey pretty, the star, that's you, hi Aquarius, mm. a winner can't be with a loser, I'm not calling your shorty and your man's a loser, I'm just telling you what's law, spiritual law in fact, star in the higher fan with the lovers, nah, but listen to me, just hear me out real quick, let me cook. Some of y'all cannot be with someone who is a complainer, a victim, a whiner. If you're someone who you know, girl, now nah, I'm going to go get it, okay? What they say, a spiritual being can't be with somebody that ain't spiritual or who ain't at least, they don't have like morals or values. You ain't got to be exactly like me, but you got to be in alignment. 
<laughs> you ain't gotta be like me, but girl, we gotta at least be able to see eye to eye with some shit. Be able to mix, be able to work together. And unfortunately, some air signs might be in a situation to where they are dealing with someone who was like, girl, is this, this, that, this not your man? Your boyfriend is keeping you from your husband. Or your girl, you, no, oh, shit, no, I don't want to say that. I was about to say it. You, you, the mother of your child, she keeping you from your wife. Some air signs I do see it as that that is the case because they're dealing with someone to where it's like, is this is this your partner or is this your child? Or is this your bill? Some of y'all, you you had to get from around somebody that oh no, that's not good. <laughs> you had to get from around somebody who was that. I mean, yeah. It's almost like someone didn't like the fact that you were just so you while they were so them. <laughs> they must not think too highly of themselves. That's what I'm getting. They think highly of you, but I don't think they think highly of themselves. Now, it could be a self-esteem thing or, you know, it's fact. There's not too much to think about when it comes to them. And some of y'all, it's a you thing, babes. Like some of you guys, you need to be careful about accepting less because you don't see your worth. Ten of Wands, King of Cups, and the Star Card. Like this is someone here who's in a relationship. They're at a job. They're in a situation to where it's like they do deserve better. But that person has to believe that about themselves. And then be able to make the hard decisions to change the circumstance to where they're in a situation to where you're getting better for themselves does that make sense my nose itching is that a sign spirit guys what's happening to all air signs during this mercury retrograde august 5th until august 27th in 2024 we have the five of swords see you not tripping somebody here does want to be able to kind of like, it's like someone here knows your value. They know your talent. They know your abilities, but they want to be able to keep it all for themselves. They don't want everybody to know how special you are, how valuable you are. So they keep you in their mess. They keep you attached to them. You are the star. It's like you are the star of a situation, air signs, but you need to be careful about letting somebody keep a cuff tell, telling you how, how bright to shine. Now, some of y'all wasn't going for that. Some, some of you guys have realized it's about a certain uh, situation with somebody. You got them the hell up out of here. <laughs> oh, no. You got this hurt yet. Rest in peace, girl. We Oh, no. I hope that's not a thing. Oh, girl. I hope that's not literal. But you did get somebody up out of here who, yeah. Seven of swords and the four of swords. You only act like I'm not that because you know I'm that. You only talk to me or treat me like I'm dirt because you know you're dirt. You know I'm not dirt. You see me. <laughs> Star. Like some people will treat you like trash because they know that they're trash. And it makes them either one, feel better about themselves. Or it's kind of like a disguise, you know. Now, some of you guys will have someone come back around you who... They can say everything but a, I'm sorry. I miss you. What you been up to? Hey, what's up? What like someone here can say everything to you but what needs to be said. And that's why they don't need to be around you. It's like it would pain somebody to tell you that they did fucked up. They mismanaged you. They treated you wrong. And actually take actions to change their behavior. That's too much, Shorty. You are asking for the world. You're not. But for them, Ten of Wands, that's too much work. So they're going to sidetrack it. Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords. They might play good. Oh, my God. You know, I just heard they might um be a good boy or a good girl for a little while, but then they back to default settings. They'll change for a little bit, but then they back to their old ways just to get you to stay. Ah! And this isn't, like I said, this in regards to romantic situations. This is any situation to where your light is being dimmed, shorty. Excuse me. That was a burp. What's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde? August 5th until August 27th in 2024. 
Knight of Wands. Yeah, some. Hey, somebody here get to be as reckless as fuck while they expect you to, you know, they expect you straighten your posture, neck up, eyes forward. Like someone here expects perfection out of you while they get to, you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Ooh, girl, I just want to shake a motherfucker when I hear that shit. Like, what the, what's wrong with you? Who do you think you're talking to? A dumb bitch? Like, but this is how this person gets away with doing stupid shit. They pass it off as, oh, it was a mistake. Oh, um, you know, I didn't know. I was ignorant, you know? But for you, this person is quick to acknowledge whenever you're wrong, whenever you do something bad. But they don't they don't want that same treatment. Ew. Some of y'all this is definitely coming from a fire or a water sign person. Or an air sign is the culprit. I'm not saying it's true for all aquas because maybe some aquas, you too, I was about to say, you too loud for somebody. Maybe, girl, okay? You won't like me. You was too bright for somebody. Somebody was not going to handle someone of your caliber. Your talent, your skill, you need to go somewhere where you will be appreciated, where you can shine as brightly as you want to. So, here guys, um, what's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde, August 5th until August 27th in 2024? Look at it. You have the Hierophant and you have the Star. You know what this looks like to me? This is like, oh girl, I want to say that. Let's just say you are highly favored. <laughs> Let's just say you are highly favored. When I see the star and the higher fan, this is someone who is like, not a lot of people going to get the benefits and the provisions that you are. Not a lot of people get them. This is being a part of the chosen ones, being a part of the team. What? So you have got to realize whenever you are around a loser, because a loser will bring you down. A loser will see your potential and keep you around them. And some of you guys, this is, I'm telling you, this it. I'm not just talking about romantic relationships. I'm talking about people staying in certain companies and certain jobs and certain situations to where they cannot be as bright as they could. And what's crazy is they could be being sold the, the dream. And now nah, this is great. We have benefits. We treat you right. We give you independence. But with the Ten of Wands, man, do they overwork you? Man, do they expect perfection out of you while they get the fuck around or while they get to be a trash ass business? Spirit guys, what's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde? Damn! Seven of Cops with the King of Wands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny I think someone here knows that they could never like be a top pick for you like be a pick for you at all some of you guys could feel could have this feeling today um could have this feeling towards a definitely a water sign um scorpio comes with the seven of cups and then you have the king of cups here which can also represent scorpio energy um so a double down maybe pisces someone here should not be around you air signs they have no direction this is someone here who i feel like even if they were given opportunities they would do that they would throw them away they would fumble them Hell no. I can't have my brother like that around me. Okay? Have you ever, um, like, known somebody or been around somebody to where, like, they, like, you you got the luck of the draw, nigga. Like, someone here who is lucky to have access to certain things, certain opportunities, and then they fuck it up. And it's like, bro, if I was you, if, <laughs> like, if I would have had that. But it's like seeing somebody here who is almost incapable of um managing um abundance for themselves managing blessings for themselves they gonna fuck it up every time and it's not a thing of they're not deserving they just 
because she they had it right it's not a thing if they're not deserving i just feel like they won't do what's necessary to keep it she it, if i see the nine of wands it could you know in this card i'm not saying nine of wands represents this all across the board loose no oh shit Blow off not the smartest not the not the brightest bulb not 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 the what they say not the sharpest crayon in the box okay they just they they make very impulsive and dumb decisions i'm gonna be honest with you they act before they think spirit guys what's happening it's all air signs during this mercury retrograde august 5th until august 27th in 2024 is in the building we have the high priestess this is some those are some crazy cars you got the star mystic and hierophant y'all be hearing voices if you if it's not that serious I, I do see that some of you guys definitely you're able to feel how somebody like feels about you this is either you being a great um, reader of body language. You you are great at observing people. But some of y'all, you you know what somebody wants from you. Or how somebody truly feels about you. Just off the way they treat you. Off of the way they treat others. You know, I, might not, I feel like that is a spiritual thing. But it could just double down to simple, you know. I be watching. <laughs> I be watching people. But some of y'all with the star hierophant and the high priestess. That's your intuition. That's your discernment. That's your um observation skills so you know when somebody here is lying someone here around you you know when someone here is lying someone here is looking to have the one up on you they're looking to take advantage of you it's very easy to tell Unfortunately, there are some delusional air signs out here. It's like, I'm willing to take it. Like some, It's like some air signs are just willing to accept whatever comes with this person or this situation. Why? It dumb. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so serious. They're not smart. This person is not smart. What's crazy is this remind me of uh, people like, uh, shit. Y'all went to high, maybe you did. But going to high school and seeing like them uh, freshmen, well not freshmen, but seeing like them seniors, fucking 17 and 18 year olds getting like Range Rovers and Bentleys and shit for their first car. And if you got the money, cool. But even if I had the money, you might fuck this up because you're still young. You might crash this car. Something might happen with it. I'm going to get you something, you know, good. You ain't going to be riding around on no POS. I ain't going to have you in no 98 Pontiac. No no, no offense to everybody that got a 98 Pontiac. I'm not going to have you riding around in something that's going to take a lot of maintenance. Okay? I'm going to get you something good whenever I have kids regarding, like, their cars and shit. But I ain't going to give you. No luxury vehicle. Oh, my God. At one of my jobs, had one of the kids crash the Tesla into the back, the fire pit. The, the, they ran the Tesla, a Tesla, into the fire pit. Driver was like 17, 18 year old. Guess who insurance he owned? His daddy. Guess who had to come to, for them to tow the motherfucker out the fire pit? His daddy. Can you imagine what his rate's about to be like? Fit the kid carrying her. He there recording like a dumbass. Mm, mm, mm. Don't have, somebody can fuck your shit up spirit guys what's happening to all air signs during this mercury retrograde august 5th until august 27th in 2024 three of cups yeah mind be careful of the company you keep because people will fuck up your provisions whether it be with just their own you know dumb decisions or it's it's on purpose they see what you can have. They don't want you to have it. They don't want you to have as much as you could have. Ow. Or air signs. This could be on you. Um, You know what I'm saying? You are what you eat. You are who you surround yourself with. So if you take a look around you and you, you ain't got nothing but, you know, 
liars and scammers around you. I mean, what are you doing out here? Last card, what's happening to all air signs during this Mercury retrograde, August 5th until August 27th in 2024? The Four of Cups. Now, for the ones who, you know, they're like, nah, girl, I don't get down like that. <laughs> I've given my life to God. You know, feeling like you're valuing yourself more and you're doing this by putting yourself in better situations, putting yourself around. Shit, I'm going to say it, better people. Okay? There are people who still want you, that you had to get up out of here, that you had to escort out. You will be on this path to um, elevation and these people might still try to be around you, still try to contact you, eight of wands. Like I'm I'm hearing like they, they go into the same stores they know that you go to just for the opportunity to run into you. Yeah, and seven of cups fell out on the floor. Don't get them no chances. You get up out of here, you stay up out of here. Because I told you, people will say whatever they need to to get you back into their good, will get them back into your good graces and then they'll go back to their old ways and hopefully fuck some more of your shit up before it happens <laughs> but while it's happening so be careful sagittarius is very strong we have sagittarius we have cancer we have scorpio we have taurus or some air signs could be the corporate this was your mercury retrograde reading please check your chart because you could have sun or mercury in the air sign. Like the video.